Uh, the first one will be on deep learning for semantic segmentation in 3D point cloud uh, by Farhad. Yes, this is your Thanks. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Farhad Zanjani from Eindhoven University of Technology. This is a collaboration with Promoton Company in Amsterdam. We are working on uh, chief segmentation in 3D point cloud. Uh, actually, uh, intraoral scanners are. Uh, oh, yes, thanks. <laughs> Uh, intraoral scanners um, usually are used for scanning the 3D profile of the oral anatomical structures. And uh, the output is uh, several thousand points um, um, that each point are represented, that each point is re represented by X, Y, Z coordinates. Uh, in the case of uh, generating a mesh, a normal vector per point and depends on the manufacturer, we may, might have color per point. So the task is to assign a unique label to each teeth and uh, to the gums. So totally we have 32 labels for the teeth and one for the gum. Uh, uh, accurate segmentation of the teeth is important because of uh, in digital dentistry, because of automated uh, implantology or uh, orthodontic uh, clinical problem. Uh, directly apply a segmentation network on the input with several thousand points, unfortunately, is impractical uh, because of the shortage of memory, like a GPU uh, limitation of the memory uh, of the GPUs. Uh, two common approach in uh, such a situation is to just downsampling the data that in our case is very crucial because the spatial resolution is very important in borderline between the teeth for accurate segmentation. And patch processing also will miss the global context that here there is a high dependency between the labels of the teeth and the position on the dental arch. So we propose to use and non-uniform resampling using Monte Carlo sampling. Uh, and we adapt the uh, point-wise uh, cross-entropy to be adaptive to the, such a non-uniform non sampling. Uh, furthermore, because uh, uh, inherently a semantic segmentation using point-wise cross-entropy is ill-posed problem. Uh, as far as it doesn't include the relation between the labels. Uh, in, uh, we use the uh, adversarial training for improving the result. But uh, here we use a very shallow network for our discriminator. The, the, net, the discriminator only used the statistics that we extracted from the labels. Here we just use the, uh, the mean and standard deviation of the labels that are distributed in the real and uh, predicted data. Yes. And this is the ablation study that shows the impact of two proposals using non-uniform sampling and uh, adversarial training. And finally, I invite you for further discussion in post-session. Thanks. <laughs>